Blessings, bold ones. I have a word for you today. So we're going to go to the uh, the book of James. Yeah, we're going to go to the book of James. James 1, James 1 and 12. And it reads, Blessed, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. The Lord hath promised him, promised to them that love him. So what God is saying up in this scripture, blessed the man that endure, not a person that, because you see a lot of people now in these days, they want to try to pass somebody up. They want to, I mean, oh, let me, let me set this as an example. You're, you're running a race, say like you're on track or whatever like that. Some people really, they want to be the first one on the start. They, they want to be able to be the one that cross that little red strip for when uh that that the race is done a lot of people is trying to work towards that and trying to get to it but at the same time even though one of the people that got to it first there's still a second there's still a third it doesn't matter as long as you endure as long as you didn't give up as long as you didn't get tired and just fell down and said look i'm done or whatever like that you can be you could probably be ninth place but the main thing is you still crossed you still made it to the promised land. So that's that's one thing that God has definitely uh put it in me put it in me that and know and know that God is saying don't be so much in a rush. That's what he's saying. Don't be so much in a rush. You know, living this life, do not be in a rush of everything. You know, have patience in the trial. God said, Okay. He said, For when he is tried, he shall you sh uh he shall receive the crown of life which God has promised to them that loved him. And we all know when God say promise, anytime in the scripture, he's saying promise. He means that within uh, God, is, uh, Jesus is the son of man that shall not lie. Neither the son of man to even repent. He don't even have to repent. If God promised with something, you best believe you could take that to the bank and have faith. So, you got to know that God is not a God. He 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 cannot lie. He 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 definitely cannot lie. So it's got to come to pass. You got to know that it's come to pass. I'm gonna be going to Romans five and three. Romans five and three. And I ain't gonna be long at all. Just gonna break some of this stuff down at the way God has given it to me with the help of the Lord. Okay, we are there. And not only so, but we glory and tribulation also known that tribulation uh worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope experience and experience hope and hope maketh not a shame because the love of, of god is shed abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost which is given unto us so what god is really saying up in that scripture uh, you got a lot of stuff going around. You got people turning their backs upon you, talking about you, and all this other stuff. That 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 all has a cause of a fire trial. So we can we can we can be in a season where we just have five different trials just hitting us, but it's preparing us, it's building us, it's making us grow in Jesus Christ. Because once we go all through this uh, uh fiery trial. We'll know down the road when we have another big trial that's going to come, we're going to stand on God's word. We're going to have faith. God literally wants us just, just like the, just like the example when I gave, uh, when I was, uh, I think it was two videos ago when I was talking about Jesus being on the boat and everybody else on the boat was starting to low cry because the storm and stuff was raging. God said, I, I just want you to rest with, can you rest with me? If Jesus is on the boat with you, it's, God is not going to allow anything to happen to him. And he's definitely not going to let nothing happen to you. So you just got to know that when the, when the storm is raging, when people coming against you, whether it's family, whether it's friends, anybody, uh, you, you got to know that, that, that for sure that you are in a trial. And when doors are not opening, you just got to know that you just have to stand firm on, on, on the word of God and move forward. Like just two days ago, I'm, no, I think it was just yesterday, I had so much peace that just literally I, I was laying down and I'm just like, Lord, I'm just at peace. I'm just at, I, I know I, I don't like where I'm at in this time of my life, 
But I said, but at the same time, Lord, I'm grateful and I'm thankful because it can be worse. It, it, can, it can definitely be worse. And so we just have to remain, we have to remain thankful at all times. And knowing that, you know, when, when fiery trials come our way, because one thing for sure, if fiery trials ain't coming your way, you need to ask yourself, are you in the faith? So when you have fiery trial, it should often lift you up to let you know, okay, God's got me in this trial for a reason. So apparently he want me to learn something. Apparently there's going to be something greater and bigger behind it. God is about to do some great things in this hour. I just can't wait. And I don't know if anybody been feeling in their spirit that something's about to, some, a big blessing is about to occur. A big blessing is about to just blow anybody's mind. I hear the, I hear what he's saying in, uh, in, the, in the scripture. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. I don't heard messages every single message i've heard that's what that's what the people has been saying eyes have not seen ears have not heard man god is about to blow everybody's mind i just been feeling that in my spirit but uh one thing for sure uh no god is definitely doing some great things and i'm i'm at the point of my life and everybody else should be at the point of their life that we're not going to tolerate any kind of negativity we're not we're not going to tolerate that kind of stuff we didn't we didn't suffer long enough we didn't came too far uh to turn back and so and i'm determined not to go back so um, i'm determined to move forward and see what god have in store for me uh and i don't want this to really scare nobody i want this to really encourage you in a way that knowing that you have a big calling up on your life anytime you're going into dark trial because i am too it may it may look like I'm smiling all that stuff, but man, I there's there's some stuff in my life. There's 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 God has got me in a, in a fire, but I know it's to build me and it's to to make me to who He wants me to be in this hour. So uh, one thing for sure, the experience is is basically saying you know even when more fiery trials that's going to come down the road, you're gonna you're gonna know how to go through them. You're you're gonna know how to maneuver. You, I mean, you know how it's not going to affect you because you said, Lord, if you brought me out of that hard trials, when you was bringing one, three or four, five, six, seven, eight trials my way, you, I know I can take it because I'd have been through it. And anytime God is giving you a lot of trials, that means there's more trials, stronger anointing. My God. More trials, stronger anointing. The reason why you got several or eight, nine, ten different trials hitting your life because there's a strong anointing on your life. Oh, my God. There's a strong anointing in your life is, is the reason why God is putting... Because you got to think about it. God knows how much you can take. God knows how much you can bear. If God is putting several, if he's putting eight, nine, or ten, that means your anointing is powerful. He sees the anointing that he, he he knows the anointing that he put up on you. But can you believe it yourself? Can you believe that you've been anointed and been called by God? Because he knows he the one that gave it to us. See, when I first got saved, I thought anointing was, was something that just, you know, basically come up over your life. Eh, kind of had to learn that you have to work for that for that anointing. You have to suffer for that anointing. You have to. Because then you will know how to, because it's really to help others that's going through the same trial that may, that 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 you may have went through before. And God knows how to gap. God know how to put you amongst around the people that have been through the stuff that you went through. And so you would be able to know and to be able to relate everything that they've gone through. That's really what it's all about. We can't we can't have a testimony if we don't go through the test. That's just the way it is. And if and if there's no way, if there if there's any way that the enemy is not fighting you at all or everything like that, you gotta kinda ask yourself, are you in the faith? Because if you're in the faith, if you definitely in the faith, the enemy gonna fight you every second, every minute of the day. But no, uh I hope this word definitely bless everybody today. That stay in the race, stay in the fire, stay, stay, stay consistent. Uh I, I hear that in my spirit. God says stay, stay consistent. And I know he's talking to me too. Stay consistent in prayer. Stay consistent in prayer. Prayer is, is the communication of God to let us know what's to come, what he's going to do, or whatever you, you need him to do. 
that's that's that communication and um like i said prayer is definitely the key and that's important especially up in this hour the way the enemy and everything and the way stuff is going we have to we have to be cautious who we are around and who, what's our surroundings we just have to be aware and we have to be awoke in this hour so like i said uh but like i said god was putting that in my spirit uh yeah people need to pray more uh stay consistent in prayer and i know it's for me too because i've i've lacked on prayer and uh, and i'm asking god to to get me back into that place uh i'm not afraid to acknowledge it because I, I'm not afraid to acknowledge when I have a problem in certain areas because I'm I'm basically letting God know because God already knows where you at. He just want to see do you know where you at for sure because He already knows. So when we acknowledge and come when we come to an acknowledgement, He He's gonna come through for us. So I hope this word bless everybody today. That stay in the race if you are in a fire, like I said, just keep constantly stay stay in a place where God keep reading His word, fast prayer. Do all that. If you if you hold on to all that, what I just told you, you you will not fail. You will not fail the race. You will not fail the race at all. Period. You you can't you can't fail the race. There's no way. If you got that word up in you, if you stay in the constant prayer, uh, you doing all that for the Lord and doing what God is calling you to do, you you ain't got to worry. God is gonna constantly keep giving you strength to go through the fire so anybody that's through the fire right now or about to get in there or almost out of it whatever like that keep fighting keep fighting the blessings is right around the corner that's what i hear in my spirit the blessing is right around the corner that's not me just talking that's that's god speaking the blessings is right around the corner and it's going to hit you it's going to blow your mind you're going to be like god am i even worthy of none of this stuff because the way he's about to just do things is about to just completely just blow your mind to suffer for the lord's name's sake but we got to know that by behind after all that suffering god the promises everything is going to be fulfilled so i hope everybody be enlightened by this word like i said leave a comment share subscribe whatever you want to do uh, share this word for everybody so everybody can get the word. Uh, I am Tyrese Brown, and I thank everybody for watching this video. And so everybody have a blessed Sunday. And uh, like I said, stay in your word. Stay prayed up. God loves you. If you need to contact me about anything, just contact me. Leave it in the comments. Or if you want to, look down in my description. I got uh, my Facebook name. I got my Instagram. Uh, if you want to DM me email whatever you want to do to be in communication with me we'll pray together i'll pray with you until next time god bless you